Understanding Offbeat, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, to be offbeat. This phrase can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. We'll explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand and use it confidently in your conversations. Let's get started. To be offbeat refers to something or someone that is unconventional or different from the norm. It's often used to describe actions, ideas, or even people that don't follow the usual patterns or expectations. But remember, being offbeat isn't necessarily negative. It can imply originality and creativity. The phrase, offbeat, originally comes from the world of music. In music, a beat is a regular rhythm or tempo. When something is offbeat, it means it's not in line with the regular rhythm. This musical origin helps us understand why the phrase implies something unusual or unexpected. Now, let's see how to use offbeat in different contexts. Here are a few examples. 1. His offbeat sense of humor always made us laugh. Here, it means having a unique or unusual sense of humor. 2. She prefers offbeat travel destinations, away from the tourist crowds. This implies choosing places that are not typical tourist spots. 3. The movie's offbeat storyline intrigued the audience. This suggests that the plot was unusual or unconventional. It's important not to confuse offbeat with negative connotations. While it implies something different, it's not inherently good or bad. Context is key in determining how it's perceived. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of to be offbeat. Remember, language is full of colorful expressions, and understanding them can enrich your communication skills. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to be a little offbeat in your English learning journey. See you in the next video.